Calls by an opposition councillor for a government-led public inquiry into child sexual exploitation in Oldham were defeated at a town hall meeting this week. They were rejected by the Labour-run council during a fiery meeting that saw local residents shouting from the public gallery. It comes after a recent report found children were failed by the agencies meant to protect them from abuse. Well, joining me now is the Conservative councillor Robert Barnes, who described the council's decision as a travesty, adding that it was the night that democracy died in Oldham. And he joins me now. Robert, thank you very much for your company. Could you just explain what last month's assurance review into child sexual exploitation actually discovered and why you and other councillors wanted a government led inquiry? What it found, Darren, was that there were failings by Oldham Council and Greater Manchester Police. And we don't think that the assurance review went far enough. The terms of reference were too narrow and were set by Oldham Council. And we think it is now time for a public inquiry where the matter is taken outside of the council. And we want to see it as a government led inquiry. The public hey. want to see a, uh, want to see an inquiry, Darren. Indeed, that is and what I we're pushing for. I think a lot of people are very, very angry about the fact that this has happened. But what would you actually say to the Labour Party? What do you think they're thinking, their rationale behind saying no to this inquiry? Well, I'd be saying to the Labour Party, why are you blocking democracy? Why are you you are meant to be you're all meant to be corporate parents. You're all meant to look after vulnerable children and adults. And by blocking a public inquiry three times, you are letting down vulnerable children and adults in, the ta in, in our town. And I, I, I really do think, what have they got to hide and who are they protecting? It really isn't acceptable that for, on three occasions, Labour councillors have blocked the opportunity for a public inquiry into child sexual exploitation and grooming gang gangs here in Oldham. Could you just set they the scene? Have to, they have to answer to the public, Darren. Yeah. Set the scene for my viewers on the, the way in which this vote went down, because you had, correct me if I'm wrong, but you had local residents watching from the public gallery, right, who were absolutely livid yes. with the council's decision. What do you reckon the, the reaction has been in, in Oldham as a whole? What happened on the night was a motion was laid and that motion was completely changed by the Labour administration and it stripped out all reference to a public inquiry. That is why the public in Oldham were angry. That's why you saw the level of anger in Oldham. Because Oldham, because the Labour Party in Oldham don't want to have a public inquiry. They think this is good enough and it isn't. And it's not just the first time it's happened on the 27th of June. There was a special meeting, an extraordinary meeting of the council, uh, in which I also spoke. That, and I said, I said, I said to them, "This is not the start. This is not the be this is not the end. This is the beginning." And the anger levels are only going to rise until the Labour Party realises they've got to deliver on what people want, and that is okay. an independent inquiry. And I'm not the only person calling for this, Darren. Well, I'm just going to read you out what the council leader Amanda Chatterton, who moved the amendment, said. She says, yeah. we want to see improvements for children and young people and see the people that committed these disgusting crimes brought to justice. The original motion doesn't explain what benefit at all a public inquiry would have, either providing improvements to our assurance for today's children and young people or seeking justice for historic victims of abuse. What's your response to that? I think Amanda, Amanda Chatterton is running scared of what a public inquiry would uncover, because that is what we want. And under Section 1 of the Inquiries Act 2005, if there's enough public concern or interest, then a minister can call for a public inquiry. And I would appeal to the current Home Secretary, Priti Patel, or whoever takes her place, and to the current uh, and to the remaining five, mem five MPs who are running for Prime Minister, to instigate a public inquiry, come to Oldham, and let's have that public inquiry. Because the terms of reference need to be widened and they shouldn't be set by the local council because people wouldn't have trust in that. OK. We'll have to leave it there, but thank you very much for your time. That was the Conservative councillor Robert Barnes there, who, of course, tried to get through that public inquiry.